So hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem make palindrome. So you are given an array of strings array of size n. You have to find out if it is possible to make a palindromic substring. Palindromic string by concatenating the strings in any order provided that all strings given in the array are of equal length. Okay. So this is the plus point that we don't have to check equal length. Otherwise uh, we have to use if condition. So this is the, that's why it's easy somewhat. So let's try to understand. Now, uh, we, we have to do like, we are given an array of strings. We have to concatenate those strings to form a palindromic string. So let's understand with an example test case. Let's say we have n is equals to four. That means array is a size four. Okay. Now let's take this a, D J F H. Similarly, let's take this G A D T. Take this, uh, take this. T D A G. Now take this H F J D. We have to rearrange them in any order and concatenate them. Okay. Now they want that this should be palindromic. What is palindromic string? Like we have A B B C B B A. So A A matching B B matching B B matching C is obviously at middle matching. Now let's say I take A B B A A A matching B B matching done. So like what we have to do? We have to start from a uh, uh, like endpoints and go there and there, like left and right, side by side, and just check whether characters are matching, whether characters are matching, like this. Okay. So this is the palindromic string. So like D and D matching, J and J matching, F and F are matching. So if you check this, this will be matching. So answer will be yes. Now, how to approach this problem? Now that let's understand the intuition. What is the intuition? Let's say, I, let's say I take this D, J, F, H. Now I know for the string to be palindromic, I want D here, I want J here, I want F here, I want H here. Because I have to match these. Okay, F, F, H, H. So that means what I want. You can see this is reverse. This is reverse. That means for every string, I want the reverse. If let's say I am here, A, B, B, C. Okay. So that means I want A, I want B, I want B, I want C. So I want the reverse. That means whenever I found the reverse of every string, my work is done. Let's see, let's see. Let's say I take this DJFH. So I will take this DJFH. Now I will see. Let's go ahead. Now I can say that this, this is the reverse. This is the reverse of this. So what are we going to say? That DJFH and HFJD both are done. Because I have reversed it. I don't have to concatenate a string uh, like uh, in the question. Just have to tell whether it's possible or not. So just check whether string reverse is available. We are done. Similarly, GADT. We can see GADT reverse is available. Again, we are done. Now, we can see last is ABBA. Because you know, let's say we have a string which is matching. And in between one string is left. Let's say that string is ABBCD. Okay, now we have to check here A, A matching because they are all matching till now. Till now they both are matching. Reverse position. Now A, A matching then B, D not matching. So that means in between the string should be palindrome. Why? Because let's say A, B, B, A. So I want A, A, B, B matching. So just what I have to check. You know like in palindrome when we reverse the number A, B, B, A. So it will be same obviously. So just I will check the last character, last string that it's reverse is equal to the initial string. Like let's say this is current. So if, if I reverse this A, D, C, D, B, A, I know that this is not equal. That means palindromic string is not formed. But let's say A, B, B, A. If I reverse this, they both are same. So at the last, I will check whether reverse is equal. If reverse is equal, I am done. Okay. So let's understand that how we approach this question. So approach is really easy. Just we use an unordered math. In C++ actually it exists. So let's understand that we have DJFH. Now I will say, just put this in map. Make the count is equal to 1. Because I have more than 2 string. So I want more than 2 reverse. Now I come to GADT. I will add it because, just add it. Just add it. Now we come to ABBA. Just add it. 1. Now I come to HFJT. Now what I will say, just try to reverse this. DJFH. Is DJFH in my map? I say yes. If it is, if it is, I will say reduce DJFH. 
that means dgfh pair is found just then don't need to add this map we don't need to add this map because for this element we found the reverse just remove it from the map we add it now similarly i will come to tdag now when i reverse is gadt so what i will say that is it available in the map its reverse is available in the map yes that means reduce it to zero done done now when i come out of the loop i can see that this is only left and then one element is left a b b a now what i will be going to do i will going to say just reverse this a b b a so is reverse and current string equal yes yes so i will say my answer is totally yes if it is not no this is a question so now let's say if it is h f j c so when i come here i will not found anything so what are we going to say so initially we have d j f h one we have g a d t one we have a b b a one we have h f j c we do not found anything just add it as it is now t d a g i will found i will make it zero done now we can see three strings are there so that means it's not a palindrome so at the end what i want i want either nothing should be left in the map or either one string should be left having the count one because i can reverse that and just check whether its reverse is a palindrome and i am done so this is the direct palindrome question so let's try to code up that much now what i will be going to say we are creating an another map string comma int mp and after that i will traverse this string vector and let's say i create this reverse is equals to id so i will reverse this reverse dot begin comma reverse dot end that means i reverse the string now i will check in the map if this reverse exists if mp dot find reverse is not is equal to mp dot end if it is so i will say mp of reverse minus minus that means decrement the count also also if the mp of reverse is equal to equal to 0 erase it from the map otherwise it will check for zero count as well okay so that means i have to remove okay because i want at least one count so i will remove it from the map now else if it is not found what i was doing just insert the element as it is okay now you can do vice versa as well add the reverse check for the element we can do uh, like in reverse order as well so it doesn't matter actually now at the end what i need to check if mp dot size is equal to equal to zero that means all pairs are match reverse pair are match i will return yes let's obviously true okay now else if else if mp dot size is equal to one that means one key is there let's say we have a b b a let's take this example a b b a like a b b a now what i will do let's say i have a b b a so now we have count is equal to one obviously why the count will be obviously one why because obviously when i travel the map a b b and if i found again a b b a let's say i found the a b b a three times so when i come here i will put this in map a b b a now when i come here i will reverse this it will be a b b a so i will check yes it is found both are done now we'll come to a b b a so obviously whenever string will be palindrome we will have only one count we will have only one count let's say take another example to better understand c b b d okay let's say it is available three times it will be available three times in the map why because let's say cbbd never found their reverse pair so i will add cbbd as three count so when i check this if this is palindrome this will never be palindrome that means the final case becomes if map size is equal to one and if it is palindrome we are done otherwise no okay obviously we have two condition only all pairs match or one pair is inside left which is palindrome just this is the case so i will say that if mp dot size is equals to one and how can we access the map's first element i will say map begin and its first element is this okay now what i want let's reverse this reverse is equals to current so we'll reverse this reverse string reverse dot begin reverse dot end and what i will check i will check that reverse is equal to equal to current if it is written yes else return no no and add then will return false because obviously it's not matching so let's try to compile in the code and check whether it's working fine
uh, this is not MP inside ID, it should be MP ID plus plus. I'm not using set. Let's try to compare it in the code again. So let's submit the code. So yes, it's totally working fine. So this was all about code. If you like the explanation, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you.